Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So what I have for you guys today is going into the vigil in the Embarker Forest to find the hidden legacy chest. And I was just exploring Embarker Forest and I came across the vigil. And, you know, it's it's pretty hidden. You'll see why. There's a lever in the back. It looks like just a, a small little room with a chest. But once you pull the lever, you have to go through this sort of maze looking. It's, a, it's weird. It's a weird maze. You're going to go through that and then... You gotta do something else in order to go to the legacy chest. So, this is the vigil on the Embarker map. It is not too difficult to get to. It's in the side. You can see the giant tower with the the crystal on top, or what looks like a crystal. You wanna head in here. You're gonna see the chest. There's a bunch of chests in this area. And then grab this first. Now, this first run that I'm doing, I actually did two runs. The first time, I ended up dying to the dude because I was... I actually glitched in my inventory for some reason, and uh, I came back here, so at 6 minutes I come back here and I do the same exact thing as this, except it's more fast paced and I just go through it real quick and clear it, so if you want to go through that, then you know, feel free to, but right now I'm just, this is the first time coming into this vigil, and uh, I'm going to clear it real quick, or try to at least. Now, in this area, there are a bunch of ghosts. There's some fire dudes, so you're going to be lit on fire. The boss is a fire person as well. Um, the the ghosts, if you have an ice weapon like I currently have, it's going to be a lot easier because it just plows through them. I also put a bunch of buffs on my character to make it a lot easier. And you want to keep going to these gravestones and teleporting. Now, certain gravestones teleports you to other gravestones, so... The, the problem here is some of them lead back to the beginning, and then you're going to have to go through the whole thing again. So, you're going to want to follow what I do, and obviously right now, because of my first time doing it, I had to go back a couple times because I picked the wrong gravestone. Wrong choice, bud. <laughs> so... You know, but at, the, at six minutes, I did everything perfectly. If you want to just hop over there, you can see me do it. But feel free to stay, because this is... You can still get all the information from this. But it's just me clearing it. First time clearing it. And it's not that difficult. The the enemies, they're... They're pretty easy to kill, honestly. If you have ice, they can do a decent amount of damage to you. But, you know, they... They're two to three hit for me, and I, I don't have... A melee build really so you know this time I'm choosing the correct one and then I'm gonna choose the correct one again and then I believe I choose the correct one here honestly I think this area is pretty cool like if you look around there's just floating houses I have no idea why but I think it's pretty nice looking and then you have this flame. Now, the flame is going to be the most important thing in here. There's a way to activate it, or it might just be a glitch, and in order to activate it, you have to do something. But once you clear the rest of this area, or you don't have to, but um, there are some chests, so you should probably clear it. So once you clear the rest of this area, you want to head back to that fire glowing ball, and uh, I'll show you what to do next. We're just getting some chests and clearing out the rest of these guys. I have no idea what those are in the background, but it looks pretty sick. I thought that's where we were going before I knew how to get to the room with the, the chest, but the legacy chest. Okay, so now we went back to the ball, and I think sleeping does the trick. I don't know if it's you have to sleep or it's just a glitch and sleeping fixes it, but then you get this little moon-looking thing, and then you come to this room with two dudes are burning man and then one of those burning horses that do a ton of damage you want to watch out for them but i had no buffs and i knew they would be a lot easier to start buffing myself up when they didn't see me but the problem is when i started buffing myself up i got stuck in this inventory for a couple seconds and the dude lit me on fire and it just made things a lot more difficult right here so i was stuck i was trying to get out and then <laughs> yeah so now i'm burning on fire an ornate chest there and here's a legacy by the time I am running around I'm burning on fire I couldn't you can't leave once you go in 
and I have to drink water or else I'm gonna die, and there we go. So th now this is the second run I did. I actually have a different weapon and a different backpack just because I was actually out clearing a bunch of dungeons and getting some silver, so I wanted to collect as much as I could. Now we're gonna head into the Vigil again, take down those burning dudes, take down all the skeletons. It wasn't nearly as hard clearing it this time because I knew what I was doing, and I knew the route, the gravestone route, so I wouldn't teleport back to the beginning. So I did speed run this. Yeah, yeah, yeah you hit that door. Um, so it, it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing, and you can just follow this if you want. But I'm gonna buff myself up real quick. And this time I'm not gonna cut the buff so you can see what I'm doing, because I usually do this for most big battles. And it's quite helpful if you know which buffs work. So I have focus, and I'm just gonna, with focus, get my electricity buff because that's good for stunning and stuff like that and it's really helpful with this axe and then I'm just gonna get a mana potion because I didn't put a lot into mana so I usually just carry a couple around so I can do these buffs and we're gonna put some on possessed I believe it's called so it's just gonna increase my decay damage my weapon and then we got another buff up now we're pretty good to go clear the rest of these guys. The only problem about these two dudes up here is you don't have a lot of room to fight them. And because their fireball has AoE, if you get lit on fire, it's just going to cause a problem. But I was able to clear them pretty easy, and I didn't really let them shoot off a lot of fireballs. I'm just going to buff herself up a little more, because why not? I have no idea why I did frost resistance. I <laughs> I forgot I didn't have a frost weapon because usually I have that mace, but you know, whatever. Do frost resistance, there's nothing that really you know does frost damage in here, so it's just sort of a waste, but but I don't really care. It's not worth that much anyway. I remembered you have to go this way. If you actually look closely, the fire is currently the moon, and once you get closer, just turned into that fireball. So you just change. I don't know if you could see it. So I don't. I I do think it might be a glitch that you're not supposed to have to sleep in order to get to it. But I mean, just just sleep if it doesn't work for you. If you can't teleport, and it should fix it. Get some stamina real quick. We're gonna head over to the other area, grab the last chest, and then head back to the flame in order to get to the legacy chest. Okay, now we're gonna head back. Now I'm going to sleep again, because that's the only way to fix it for me. This one should take me back here, and this one should take me to the flame. So you see how I can't teleport? I'm going to quickly sleep, pull out my, my luxury bag, my luxury tent, and uh, I just slept till midnight. I don't think it matters how long you sleep, but... I was just making sure that, I mean, it's a full moon, or it's a moon-looking thing, so I was like, hey, midnight might work. I mean, it did work, but I don't think you have to sleep till midnight, so don't worry about that. But this time, I'm going to be smart and buff up before I go in. And I remembered that I got lit on fire, so I'm going to do some... You know, fire resistance and stuff, elemental resistance. Uh, I did the ice again for no reason. Gonna get that lightning for stun and some extra damage as well. And then we're gonna do some fire. There we go. It should be ready to go. 
If this dude that spawns right in front of you, and this time, I didn't let him hit me at all. Just kept whacking him. You have the burning dude in the back, he lit me on fire. But luckily I had some resistance, so it's not doing a lot of damage to me, and I was able to clear them a lot easier than last time. Well, anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed or found it useful in any way, then please hit the like button, sub if you already sub, and turn the notification bell on because I'll be doing a lot more of these videos in the future. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Peace.